The average social security benefit today is roughly $1,600 per month, with a maximum of $3,500 per month. Given that the average American cost of living is between $1,500 to $2,000 per month, depending only on social security income, it may not last long into retirement. However, a rising number of Americans are opting to retire abroad, taking advantage of the lower costs given by certain countries. However, retiring abroad is a significant undertaking and determining the best nations for retirement presents an even larger problem. Today, we'll look at the eight best countries to retire on a small pension or social security, taking into account the low cost living options available. Number one, Portugal. If you've always wanted to live in Europe, retirement in Portugal could be the answer. The Portugal D7 visa, often known as a retirement or passive income visa, is most certainly the best option for this. This program, which began in 2007, is aimed at inhabitants of countries outside the European Union. The visa remains valid for two years and can be renewed for another three. After five years, you will be able to petition for permanent residency and be eligible for the original visa. You must stay in the country for 183 consecutive days each year or spend eight months per year altogether, with travel permitted in between. You must also have a Portuguese bank account, confirm that you earn at least $750 per month, have health insurance, and provide documentation that you have a long-term location to live with a reasonable cost of living. Additionally, there is much to do while you're here, from exploring Portugal's fascinating history, food and culture, to taking advantage of its convenient closeness to the rest of Europe. Number two, Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the most popular countries for expats. Over 70,000 American expatriates currently live here, many of whom are seniors. Eligibility normally required to provide proof of a minimum monthly income of $1,000, which could be in the form of social security, pension retirement funds, or something else. You can renew the permit after it's expired, and after three years, you'll have the opportunity to establish permanent residency. Also, you won't have to give up your current citizenship. This is one of the biggest benefits, but it's not the only one. The cost of living in Costa Rica is quite low, that is between $1,100 to $2,000 per month, with rent ranging from $700 to $1,500 per month for a condo or small home. Costa Rica also has one of the highest living standards in Latin America, with several high-quality restaurants, museums and shopping options, as well as reliable internet and cell phone service. Costa Rica's healthcare system is accessible and widely regarded as of excellent quality, which contributes to retirees' overall well-being. Costa Rica stands out as a great option for seniors looking for a comfortable retirement on a tight budget. Number three, Indonesia. If you wish to escape the cold in your golden years and live on a balmy island paradise, Indonesia is another excellent choice. And when I say paradise island, I really mean it. You'll have your fill of island life here. Indonesia consists of five main islands and 30 smaller archipelagos. There are 18,110 islands and islets in Indonesia, yet barely 7,000 people reside there. To be eligible for Indonesia's retirement visa, you must first complete a few requirements. The first requirement is that you must be at least 55 years old and earn at least $1,500 a month, or $18,000 annually. You must also provide proof of Indonesian health insurance and enter into a one-year living agreement. You might assume that the final main criteria are the most extensive on this list. According to US News & World Report, after a year, you should engage an Indonesian housekeeper, driver or other home helper. You can extend the visa every five years or convert it into a permanent visa that is valid for five years and can be renewed an unlimited number of times. Number four, Panama. 
Panama has a sizable expat population, which appears to be constantly increasing thanks to its attractive retirement visa program, the Pensionado Visa. It is not only one of the easiest visas to obtain, but it also comes with appealing incentives like hotel, movie and theatre discounts, as well as tax breaks. To apply, you must be at least 18 years old, provide proof of a monthly income of at least $1,000 and successfully complete security and health tests. Panama City is worth visiting if you want to have a more metropolitan experience with plenty of conveniences. With a population of just under 4 million, couples can live here for around $1,500 to $2,000 per month. There are also lovely coastal regions, such as Coronado, which have a large expat community. Coronado is an expensive coastal town with attractions such as a country club, golf course, and the average yearly temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. However, living expenses are slightly higher here than in other parts of the country. Number five, Greece. If you're thinking of retiring in Greece, there are a few visa options to consider. The first is a residency permit, which needs proof of about 26,400 US dollars in your bank account. If you're still working and earning around $2,100 per month, you'll require confirmation of medical insurance. Non-European Union citizens can also apply for a Greek golden visa. This is a five-year residence that you can obtain if you purchase Greek property. You can renew the visa after five years if you keep the property. This can eventually lead to citizenship, but if you want to become a citizen, you must be fluent in Greek. If you decide to move here, there is a lot to look forward to. For starters, Greece consists of 227 islands, each with its own unique microcosm of Greek culture. If you find yourself in Athens, there is a wealth of history and architecture. In reality, given that Athens is one of the world's oldest cities, having been inhabited for almost 3,000 years, this may be your personal little slice of heaven. If you enjoy history, you can expect to spend around $1,500 per month on living expenses, depending on where you reside and your lifestyle. Number 6. Thailand. If you decide to relocate to Thailand, you can create your own tropical retirement paradise with white sandy beaches, clean water and palm trees. If you retire here, you may feel like you're on vacation all the time. Consider the non-immigrant O visa if you want to explore this as a retirement place. To qualify, you must be at least 50 years old, have proof of the ability to deposit $22,000 into a Thai bank account, and earn at least $1,800 a month. You must also pass a security and health check. Once issued, your visa is valid for one year, following which you can renew it an unlimited number of times. Thailand is known for its welcoming attitude towards tourists and its provision of high-quality medical treatment at a low cost of living, in addition to its visa process and natural beauty. According to one estimate, you can live a middle-class lifestyle in Thailand for between $600 to $1,500 a month, with a two-bedroom condo or house costing around $700 on average. For those seeking a beachfront experience, consider visiting Koh Samui, a renowned expat destination. Koh Samui features picturesque beaches, warm weather all year, and is only about an hour and a half's flight from Bangkok, making it easily accessible worldwide. Number 7. Belize Belize, being only a two-hour flight from the southern United States, is an intriguing option for individuals looking to retire in a tropical setting while remaining close to the United States. The Belize Tourism Board supervises Belize's Qualified Retirement Program, which makes retirement easier. To be eligible, a person must be at least 45 years old and have a monthly income of at least $2,000 or an annual income of more than $24,000. Applicants must deposit this money in a Belize bank, pass a security check through the Ministry of National Security and commit to spending 30 consecutive days in the nation each year. This program is open to retirees from approved countries other than the United States, including Canada, sections of Europe 
South America, and selected Asia-Pacific countries like Australia, China, Japan, and South Korea. A two-bedroom oceanfront apartment in Placencia can cost between $1,000 to $1,400 per month, totaling over $2,000 for solo living and $2,800 for a couple. Number 8. Colombia Colombia stands out as an excellent choice for retirees looking for a fulfilling lifestyle on a modest pension or social security income. The country has a variety of appealing elements, including a diversified and picturesque scenery, a welcoming cultural environment with $1,400 cost of living. Colombia has a unique visa for retirees called the Pensionado Visa. To be eligible, you must earn around $830 per month in idle money, have no criminal record, be in relatively excellent health, and purchase private health insurance. The government's initiatives to improve safety and infrastructure have increased Colombia's appeal as a retirement destination. When it comes to housing, the cost of living is between $1,000 to $2,000 that is surprisingly low, especially for a two-bedroom apartment. In Medellin and Bogota, retirees can find comfortable and well-appointed flats for a fraction of the cost compared to many Western countries. This economic element contributes to Colombia's overall appeal as an ideal place for retirees trying to stretch their pension or social security payments while maintaining their quality of life. Thank you for coming with us on this exciting tour. Sign up to get more interesting information about the changing surroundings that will shape our future around the world.